few other things you can do. Uh, this has got so many settings. It's an Android tablet, so there's so much stuff you can tweak compared to the Kindle. It's got a control center that will be very familiar to people who use uh, an iPad or an iPhone or a Mac, I suppose, these days as well. Um, you can change the screen orientation. You can screencast. I think it's, uh, was it Miracast or something you can use? Airplane mode, of course. You can disable uh, touch with your finger so that only the stylus works for interface elements. You can take screenshots, you can record screen videos, you can split the screen so that you can run two apps and you can control the degree of split as well. There's a built-in airdrop like thing whereby if you want to share stuff you just scan a QR code on this and as long as the device that scans a QR code is on the same Wi-Fi you can transfer files via a web interface which is pretty cool. There's this uh, little ball thing in the bottom right of the screen you can move it about wherever you want. It's a radio menu you can choose what all these options are you can collapse it completely into a little tab at the side of the screen it's there all the time. They do all kinds of things like uh, that's the e-ink center which optimizes each app in terms of the screen refresh rate which is a trade-off of speed versus the amount of ghosting left behind just as the nature of an e-ink display multitasking for android of course there's a scrolling control for quick scrolling screenshots and you can do a full manual screen refresh if you want to and double tapping it takes you back to the home view as well which i've got set to my notes You've of course got the, the Google Play Store. I don't really have anything from that at the moment, but you've got your, you know, pretty much everything that's on the Play Store that's supported by the version of Android, whatever that is on this. You get Android notifications pulled down from there and you can customize all kinds of gestures in different parts of the screen. And naturally it reads and lets you annotate ebooks, uh, PDFs and EPUBs and so on. You can of course download the Kindle app from the Play Store and use that with your library or your uh, Kobo library or anything else there's an Android app for. But you can also do it natively on this, you know, viewing your books and writing up annotations and drawing on it as you wish. And it does let you write directly onto EPUBs unlike the Kindle Scribe. The way the Kindle Scribe works is if it's a fixed uh, layout book, like a PDF, then you can draw straight onto the page. But if it's a reflowable format, like an EPUB or the vast majority of Kindle books, then you can only place little sticky notes and they open a window for you to either type into or handwrite on. This um, lets you just write anywhere. And then if you change the point size and reflow it, then it sort of intelligently puts it into a little pop-up window sticky note box thing until you go back to the original size at which point it shows where it was which is quite smart it's a nice gadget very very light as well and i love the pop of that orange color that seems to be the branding it's a lovely thing this is it with no lighting on whatsoever there's a front light you can have on and a warmth control so if you want to have the light on at night time but make it a lot more yellow than blue you can do that but i've not seen any reason to put it on i mean i'm sitting there's a large window over there and this is of course uh, almost midday so it's kind of ideal lighting but even sitting in the living room late at night with dimmed very yellow lighting no problem reading this thing pretty fantastic the pen is not quite as nice as the Kindle Scribes pen, more of a sort of ribbed plastic rather than that nice soft rubbery feel and the actual writing feel of it is initially a little more scratchy than on the Scribe, the Scribe's more velvety but it has worn in uh, and it's smoother now and the thing is uh, all of these gadgets including this and the scribe they use wacom's emr technology for pens so you can use any of the pens between them the kindle scribe pen works absolutely fine on this as long as it's the soft replaceable nibs type rather than ceramic or metal 
but it works fantastically. And of course it magnetically clips on, and that goes over there, and then there's this wee magnetic retained flap to keep it safe. Really nice.